Hey everyone, it's Sharon with Exposing Music Awards 2014, and I am here with T.C. Eckstein, vocalist. What? I got it. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's kind of long, but you know. That's okay. How are you? <laughs> I'm wonderful. It's great to be in Chicago. You're just tell me about this. Mr. Stonewall. Yes, and tell yeah. just briefly, like, is this your new single that's out? Yes. Okay. I sing um, hip-hop neo-jazz, neo-soul jazz. So jazz has um, dominated our family history, and um, we've all been musically trained in it. Okay. But, uh... So would you say that's your inspiration? Very much my inspiration. Okay. Uh, most of them, the CDs, my CDs have positive messages. I try to keep them inspirational, but also about love, all okay. about love. All right. It's one of my songs, too, number two on the I love first it. CD, all about love. I love it. I love and, uh, it. <laughs> and I am here with the most gorgeous Entice. Thank you. How are you? I'm great. I'm awesome. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. So you're performing for us tonight, right? Yes, I am. All right. What are you performing? I am performing a song off my um, CD, Love Calls, called Secrets. All right. Secret, secrets do tell, though. Right. <laughs> Hopefully they will tonight. <laughs> so where are you from? I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, by way of Florida. Gorgeous. So what inspires you? I mean, it seems like you're very fashion savvy as well. Yes, I so, try. so you're musically inclined and you're fashionable. So what inspires you? Um, first of all, um, I love, love, love music. I saw that as an, um, an outlet for me with a lot of things that I've gone through, that's personal experiences in life. Um, I channeled that into um, coming up with um, awesome tracks and, you know, writing lyrics and it's worked so far. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great. So what's next? What's next after exposing awards? What's next? Um, well, I'm in a studio right now, uh, currently finishing up my project. Hey, everyone. It's Sharon, Exposing Music Awards 2014. I am standing here with the man, Rude Boy, Le Leon. Revolutionary sword, <laughs> Lion Tafari. Lion Tafari, right. Tell me, what's going on? Where are you from, first of all? Originally from the island of Dominica. I used to stay in the Virgin Islands, and now I reside in Atlanta. Oh, okay, all right. So how did you get from Dominica to Atlanta? Well, uh, Dominica to the Virgin Islands. Oh, to Atlanta. The, the, yes. You've been all around. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. So what brought you from Dominica to the Virgin well, Islands to Atlanta? Everybody migrate, try to better, um, see a better life, yes. you know, okay. and no new, new things, you know. All right, yeah. all right. So what inspires you? Who inspires you? Peter Tosh. Peter Reggae Tosh. artist Peter Tosh from Jamaica. Ah, okay, all right. So you're performing tonight, right? Yes. What do you, and is this on your new album here? Yes. Those songs are on my new album, Firestarter, which is in stores on iTunes, Amazon, and Google Play. All right, so what's next? What's after Exposing Awards? Well, are you moving you somewhere know, else? or? No, 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 no. Just touring the world, yeah. you know, doing more shows, you know, working on new music, okay. and giving the people good music and reality music that they can relate to, you know? Hello guys, my name is Corbin Little. I'm here at the 2014 Exposing Music Awards. And right here, I have my man Ro Jess Roberts. And Jess Roberts, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. You know, this is an opportunity of a lifetime for me. Um, I've been working on my music for a while and I'm just believing for great things tonight. So Jess Roberts, where are you from? I'm from Houston, Texas, uh, by way of uh, Augusta, Georgia. That's where we re reside in now. Um, I'm a 14-year veteran, and I got out the military back in 2005 in Desert Storm War. I'm retired now, so now I'm just doing music. Okay, so as 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 com like cr coming up in Houston, like what artists did you actually like follow by? Like what artists actually got you? So like, hey, this is what I want to do. Like, is there any artists that stuck out? Well, one of the artists that really stuck out as far as jazz is Kenny Garrett. You know, because I like the way he vibe as far as the jazz. As far as hip hop, I'm old school, so it would be um, Boogie Down Production and also Mr. Dougie Fresh. And I just like the old tune, the old hip hop, as far as you know, the lyrics, the rhymes, and uh, I'm just straight up. You know, the, the new stuff, the new stuff is great, but I, I am really geared towards the old stuff, as far as the jazz and you know what it can do. Hello, you guys. My name is Corbin Little, and I'm here at the 2014 Exposing Music Awards. And right here, I have our first winner, Miss Vivalda Dula. 
and she has won the award for best singer and songwriter. So tell me, how do you feel winning that award, not knowing that you was going to win? Well, um, it, feel, it feels good. Um, it's an unknown sensation, um, and I'm happy for it. I'm happy for it. Okay, so growing up, um, first of all, where are you from? I'm from Angola, uh, Southern Africa. Okay, so growing up, um, was, did you always want to become an entertainer, or what inspired you along the way to say, hey, I want to do music? Well, I was a professional uh, Afro-contemporary dancer, and the music always came through me um, since uh, I was a child. As an African um, child, you have the music experience in your life through your family. Okay, so um, tell me, like, what artists or either past or present that you feel they'll have influenced you or have influenced you in the past? Well, uh, we have um, from Africa, Miriam Makeba, Angelique Jo. Uh, from here, Tina Turner. I love her. <laughs> I love her. And then there is a Sting, a Metallica, and well, um, I have a lot of influences. I love all genres of music, since uh, my traditional root, uh, traditional African music, th through classic. So I love all of genre of music, and when I, lo when I love it, I try to join all of them. And I am here with Miss T Don, yeah. who has won not one award but two awards. So tell me, how does it feel to win two awards? Oh, it's, it's so exciting. You know, I just, um, I thank God for everything that he's given me. And, and to be able to win the, these awards is just absolutely amazing. I thank Pose so much for uh, just making such beautiful awards and such a, a great production that they put together for us. And uh, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm just kind of like speechless, I guess. <laughs> okay, so tell me, if you could perform with any artist, past or present, who would that be? Oh, my gosh, it would definitely be Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks, she's she's my rock. Yeah, um, it just seems like uh, it seems like I know her already, even though I don't, because she was an inspiration to me, and I I would sit in the bedroom all the time, pretend like I was Stevie, and and a lot of people compare me to her with the voice, and that I never even thought that that would even be possible, and it's a, it's an honor. Right here, I have Cheryl, who has won Best Alternative Album. How does it feel to win the album knowing that you did not even know you was nominated? Well, I, I was really surprised. Really surprised. I didn't think that I would actually win the award and um, I don't know I'm actually still sitting here looking for words I'm so speechless and I'm just thankful for um, my husband and for um, my family for um, supporting me all this time and um, I am thankful to the Pose Productions um, staff for all of their love and support that they've been giving me for the past couple of years I'm just so grateful.